So I wanted to show you a, a trip we took to Orange, Texas, down on the uh, southern Texas coast. And what we did was go down there and help a relative whose house had been flooded uh, by Hurricane Harvey. And I'm just showing you, um, there was a lot of conversation in the truck as we drove, so I'm just going to narrate through this and just show you some of the, uh, the destruction, the devastation, uh, um, as people have pu pretty much pulled everything out of their homes to, um, to lay it out on the curb for the trash to come get. Um, appliances, uh, furniture, beds, mattresses, um, everything. Carpet, um, we pulled a lot of carpet and carpet padding out. Some of this is building materials. People have already ripped out sheetrock uh, out of their homes and uh, waiting to uh, uh, put in new sheetrock. What they'll do is go in there at about four feet uh, from the floor take out that uh, sheetrock and let uh, wait for it to dry. They'll treat it with a mold preventative and uh, pull out the insulation, which wicks the water up into the wall. Um, and then they'll, um, they'll re, uh, re replace the insulation after it's treated, after they know there's no mold growth. Uh, treat it and put the sheetrock back on and then they're in, back in business, hopefully. Some of these folks obviously have no insurance. I know you've heard that and um, uh, just can't imagine what they're going through right now as far as trying to figure out how they are going to rebuild because these are tens of thousands of dollars in each home. When you think about kitchen cabinets, uh, complete kitchen re remodel, complete bathroom remodels, it's all gone. It's all damaged. So. Uh, it was just an amazing thing to see firsthand, and uh, I've got something that's fixing to come up that I wanted to show you that's pretty cool. But uh, just the devastation as we pass by, and I see all this stuff out on the curb. Well, right here we're pulling up on a, uh, on a, a helicopter. This is a Chinook helicopter. We saw it come in from a distance, and we were stopped here by a, um, a sheriff while they are doing something that is pretty neat. They are to the right of this shot. I didn't pan that way, but to the right of this shot is a cowboy church. Uh, it's a church down here that's um, pretty uh, pretty popular. It's uh, just a, a church that basically, you know, a lot of a lot of boots and buckles and cowboy hats. But what they're doing is loading this uh, big helicopter, huge helicopter, up with some hay. And uh, the cowboy ch church had several tra uh, trailers with hay. You can see the tractor there loading that hay. Uh, getting it close, and then the uh, the airmen or the privates or whatever <laughs> are rolling it up into the helicopter. We saw them probably put in uh, seven or eight rolls, and those rolls weigh anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds apiece. I didn't get close enough to see exactly what size roll they were, but they're they're big enough to be heavy. Put a lot of hay on that thing. What he will do is go out and drop it um, to, uh, they'll just roll it off the back, I'm sure, um, to... Um, the uh, livestock that are surrounded by water right now and have absolutely nothing to eat. And in looking at this, it didn't dawn on me. I didn't realize it until um, I saw this, that uh, anybody that's uh, t uh, cut hay this year and has left it out in the field uh, waiting for winter to feed it to their cows, if that hay was underwater, it's gone now. So they're going to need a lot of hay. There's a lot of hay moving that way from East Texas, I know that. But this is how they're going to distribute it right now to livestock that's in trouble. And it's your tax dollars at work, and I'm just proud to see it. This is cool. This is cool. He is on his way to, del to deliver. Thought you'd want to see it. Help out if you can. We're gone.